You guys, I'm at my Ulta in the recycling bin are these plastic bags full of Morphe palettes, testers. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go over everything that I found at my Ulta location. You guys, this was a crazy score. I was raining. I wasn't, I didn't find anything in the regular trash can. I moved some boxes and recycling and I found these items just in there in these bags. Um, this is a company that they're actually supposed to like throw all their products out to because makeup technically is a hazardous waste. So for some reason they didn't do that. Maybe they're just using the bags. Thank goodness for me anyways. But if you notice the bag says Morphe times James Charles tester palettes. And then this one says do not throw away Morphe testers. So in this one is just James Charles palettes and one is the big palette and the mini palette. And this palette, you guys, is in perfect condition. There it is, still in the bubble wrap. And voila. Doesn't even look like it was ever swatched. So pretty. I do have this palette, and I have used it a few times, but I will definitely hold on to this one for a future giveaway. And next up is the James Charles mini palette. And that is the inside of this one, testers. So it does look like it was played with and I still have to clean it up. I just wanted to show you exactly how I found the bag. I did find a beauty blender sponge in the regular trash can. I just, I didn't film that. I don't know if it was ever used or not. It doesn't look like it was. And yeah, so that was a pretty cool score. Let's get started, you guys. Okay, so first up we have the Morphe times Manny MUA Glam Palette. Didn't even know he did a palette with them. And that's the inside of that one, you guys. It's actually really pretty. It's just a normal, neutral little palette. Super cute, I like the marbling look. Then we have another mini James Charles palette. And that's the inside of that one. This one's in a little bit better condition. As you can see, the tester sticker right there. This is a broken palette, unfortunately. It's just the bottom. There was no lid in sight. And this is the 35O, I believe. Yes. I mean, you could still use this. I'm still gonna hold on to it, but sad that there's no lid. Moving along. This is another Morphe, obviously. This is a, a 35O with a lid. And that's the inside of this one. This one doesn't even look like it was ever swatched, you guys. Up next is the 35M. And that's this one. This one's been touched, swatched. I see some fingers. It's a really pretty palette. Up next is the 35M. I think that's the one we just went over, so there must be two. Wow, this one looks brand stinking new. Still has the label in it. Why would they throw these out, you guys? Oh my goodness, so pretty. I'm gonna give that to my sister. And then the last two palettes are the 35i. I'm so happy I found another one of these because I believe these are discontinued. They're so freaking pretty. Um, look at it. So pretty. Definitely a tester. Was definitely touched. I see the tester sticker right there. So I have a backup. I'm happy because when I found this palette before, the glitter was completely used up. I don't really care about the glitter, but at least this palette is a little bit fuller. So pretty. I have to clean it up. This is like a pastel palette. It got a lot of hype. It just has a lot of pretty shimmery colors in it. Like, I love this green. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm not sure if this is available anymore, so I'm glad I found another one. Another James Charles palette, the bigger one, obviously a tester, and let's see what this one looks like. This one's a little bit messy. It's not bad at all. Doesn't even look like a lot of them were touched, just this one was nicked. Yeah, so I'm just going to show it to you in this condition. I will clean all these up. But what a freaking score, you guys. I'm so happy. I haven't been finding stuff lately, so the fact that I have found all these makes me really happy. Guys, I'm at TJ Maxx. There's some kind of desk in here. It looks broken. Oh, and it's heavy. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out, but I see some other stuff. Let me move it around and then I'll let you know. All right, so I did not take the desk because they like smashed the drawers to it, but I did find these two shirts. I don't really know the condition yet, but I'll show you when I get home. They were 30 bucks. I found this own case and then this set of art, which has two pictures. It looks like maybe just the first one's broken, which I don't even care if the glass is broken. I'll still use them without a glass, but look how pretty. All right, so that's everything from TJ Maxx. Really sad about the desk because it was pretty, but they smashed it. Hey guys, I'm at Bath and Body Works. Looks like there's some random stuff in this. I'm gonna take it. I'll see if there's anything else. Holy crap. Yes, score. What is that? It's kind of cute. Oh, the crates. It's kind of cute. I don't know what that is. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take this. Alright guys, I'm moving the bags and I'm finding quite a bit of stuff. I don't know what's in these, but I'm just going to take it to see. Oh, we got a candle. <sighs> a few candles. Oh, let me take this. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm gonna go over my Bath and Body Works haul that I just showed you in those previous little clips. This haul was really crazy and spontaneous, but I'm so glad that I checked. I wasn't going to, but I did, so let's get into it. So first is just this box that I found. Mintine and Mint Leaves Fine Fragrance Mists. And there's quite a bit of them. Some don't have the cap and some do. Just like random things I found in there. This is a sweater weather lotion. And then this is a apple blossom um, ultra moisturizer. It's full too. And that one smells really good. And then there was also just like random things in that bag. So we have a gingerbread man bath bomb. This is warm vanilla sugar. Random things. This is a cute little polar bear um, magnet thing. It was $3.95. You like sit these at the top of your candle lids. A few wallflowers in here. We have the perfect autumn. We have pearberry. Never heard of that scent. So these are definitely from the past holidays. This is autumn woods. I guess they were just getting rid of, you know, last year's fragrances. This is golden jasmine peppermint twisted peppermint and then this one i have no idea and then there was also two little holiday reuse them this is just a little pumpkin and a ghost found these before and i told you guys they were like hand soap refills because that's what i thought they were but they're actually spray scents for the store so this one is marshmallow fireside and then this one is leaves. It's pretty full. So right here is a blanket, you guys. At first I wasn't gonna take it because I thought maybe somebody dumped their own trash. But once I flipped it over, I noticed a tag on it. And once I inspected it, it definitely was a Bath & Body Works product. This retailed for $129.50. Who would buy this? It's not even that great. It's a weird material. I don't even, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with it. So that's the brand. Up next, um, I did find a bag and I did not show you guys me going through it. But in that large like trash bag that I took out of the dumpster, there were these tester candles inside. If you know what tester candles are, they're just these smaller ones that they usually use. So you can smell like a certain wallflower or whatever, but they do sell them sometimes. They're $10 each. This one is Seaside Mist. Smells really good. This one is Fresh Cut Lilacs. 
berry waffle cone love that scent fresh sea walk some of these aren't broken so i'm not really sure why they throw the threw them out and this one was burnt looks like for a second this is freshwater aloe and aloe next up is this bag and box of randomness definitely more holiday stuff that they were tossing out i'm gonna go over it quickly these are two wallflowers that they marked as returns it's a pretty one and then this like snowflake one very pretty and look how cute this is this is a cute little halloween decoration it's like a candle holder but that would have to be a really small candle because that's pretty tiny why aren't you focusing fourteen dollars and fifty cents no thank you but i'm so happy that i found it tons of hand sanitizer keychains it looks like they did cut them but that can be easily fixed with some super glue or even maybe even like melting them back together because they are that rubbery material I also found room sprays, definitely some fall scents, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, love this smell. They're completely cool. I tossed them because fall is approaching. Why not just put it out and cool? We have some uh, fall bath bombs, cinnamon pumpkin, a little shower gel, twisted peppermint, a half used hand sanitizer and cucumber melon. We have some car air scents too in twisted peppermint some more wallflowers we have forest air it's definitely a, a seasonal scent here's a another bath bomb but it's like dented this is lavender another one color changing one and then another lid topper this is like a bell one and more wallflowers and more bath bombs. <laughs> so yeah, we have quite a few. Which ones are these? Twisted peppermint, like a cupcake one, confetti, Epsom salt, rose quartz, another cute one, twisted peppermint, look at the top. And this one, I'm not sure. It's like really squishy. I might just toss this one out because I'm not sure if it was damaged like water or already. I don't know. And there's another bath bomb and some more wallflower refills. This is the blue is forest air and the yellow ones. Aren't these older? The pointed styles? I, I can't keep track. And I'm trying to see what that scent is. But there's no label least we're gonna go over all of the candles that i found from that trip it was a good one so up first is the casablanca lilies it was a return and it was burnt and it looks like the wick did not go very well so i will definitely just kind of place this one on a warmer that way you don't have to light it or you could just chop it up it smells so good next up is cinnamon sugared donut this one looks like the same problem something off with the wicks it smells so good i'll do the same with that one this one is a banana split milkshake and it was never burnt it smells so good i'm guessing somebody returned it or is this new packaging i don't know it says since 2018 so i'm not sure if this candle is from 2018 it smells so good i don't even want to burn it Another unburnt candle is Peach Cobbler. It was in the box when I found all those candles. I don't know why it was tossed. The only thing I can think about is maybe it's not very pretty. It looks like the candle might have melted at one time because that's on the inside. That's not on the outside. So they tossed it for that reason, I believe. Up next is a Banana Cabana. This smells so good. It was never burnt either so once again i don't know why they throw out these but i think it has to do with packaging because it is cut right there and peeling so i guess they tossed it i would still buy this i don't know if that would bother other people but i don't know and then we have a what is this this is really cute packaging i love the lid this is tiki beach and it was burnt and it was a damage or return I really like that packaging. 
And then the last two candles are these campfire donuts. They are both burnt, but there's still a ton of product in them and they smell so good. So I'm really excited to have these. It's like really sweet. I really do enjoy that. And then the last few things are these gingham ornaments from their scent. I believe this was from the last holidays. There's quite a bit of them. Oh, and then I don't want to forget these. These are like their display items. They tossed them. I grabbed them. So this is like a fake little tree log that they use to display their products. I thought it would be cute to like put something on. And then two of these little wooden crates that have like chalkboard. Well, this one does. Do they sell these? I don't think they sell them, but this is really cute. You can put like sprays or lotions in it. And then this is a bigger one. Still have to clean them, they were dusty. But yeah, I'm definitely going to repurpose these. Hey guys, um, I'm parked outside of Aldi's, but I just checked their neighbor store, which is a five below and there was a grab bag. So I'm sitting in my car right now and I'm just gonna go through it real quick. Doesn't look like there's a lot, but there's some, oops, there's some interesting stuff in here. And so right here are some kind of like outdoor lights in, in blue and green. I'm not sure if they're going to work or not, but those would be pretty cool if they worked. This is awesome. Look at this. This is a huge container of Tupperware stuff. So you have like these size bowls, little tiny bowls, bigger bowls, and then these. And then we have the usual, some kind of charging cord. Then a quite a bit of these LED light strips for your TV or for whatever. Yeah, still in the bag. Open so it could be gone. Oh, no, I think it's in there. Ash, another 10 foot USB extension cord. And right here, we have a spray bottle. It's got some dirt on it, but those are always good to use. This is a cute little pet harness for a smaller dog, really cute. It comes with the um, leash attachments too, with the watermelon print. Then we got some shoes. What size are these? Size 10, those are pretty big. I don't think I know anybody with a size 10, so I'll probably donate those. And then what do we have? Ooh, we have a Febreze air freshener in cotton. And it's full. I didn't even know they sold this. This might be just like a store thing that they tossed. This with a furry lid. There's some dirt and dust on there. I might try to clean it off. I'm not sure if I'll keep the top, but I like to keep these for storage. And I think that is it. What, no, we have one more phone charger. And then what is this? We have this, this beamed thing. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if this is some kind of heating pad. It might be. So let me hold on to it. Yeah, so that's everything from Five Below. Not bad. And both strands of green and blue. You can't really tell in this lighting, but there's green and they're blue ones. They work. So don't know why they tossed them, but lucky for me.